Hi everybody, it's Sherry with Palette to Palette. I just wanted to do um, show you how I prepare my images um, for laser engraving using Lightburn. Um, I prepare the images in Image R, so I'm just going to share my screen and get over to that. Okay, so so I use Image. It's I M A G R dot com. Okay, I M A G R dot com, and it's um, kind of convoluted so you have to like scroll down and there's six steps um, I actually use only three or four of them but so the first thing so when you scroll down you can see the six things here one two three four five and six so the first thing you do is upload your image and then you can crop it resize it add text choose what material you're going to use and then you'll download it so that you can use it all of these other pop-up things that are on here you can just disregard um, you're going to get a lot of them because this is the free version. So you have to click on, you're going to use these um, rectangles down here. Click on upload. I'm going to get um, the latest, whoops, Colton Parker. I'm going to do the latest one. I had to see what the date was uh, or the time because I removed the background. I did remove the background in this one using um, Canva. So I have Canva Pro and it has a background remover. So as you can see, um, the image over here is um, two of my grandchildren. Um, they were goofing around in front of an open garage door that had a lot of stuff on it in it. <laughs> so I'm going to upload that image. I did remove the background. Then you have to scroll down again. There's your photo. Okay, it's in black and white. Now, if you want to crop it um, because you want it in a certain size, then, or you want, um, you know, to get stuff out, you can do that. I am going to crop it this way where the edge of his arm was actually um, stopped with the image. I'm going to do the same on the other side just so it's symmetrical. You can choose what width and height you want here. Now, I always choose a bigger width and height than I'm actually going to um, engrave it just so it's better quality. If that makes sense, um, I've never had an issue. Somebody else might say that they don't, they don't do it that way. So, and then you click on crop. So it's completed your second step, and you can, this is where you can resize. Um, I'm not going to resize it. I'm not going to add text. I'm going to go ahead and choose my material. So I'm using. Um, there's lots of materials here that you can look through. I'm using a CO2 and I'm doing it on wood, and I'm going to click OK. It's generating what I need it to do right now. I'm going to scroll down again. This is the generated version, okay, of, of it saying this is what I want. So then I'm going to go to this rectangle and press Download. I'm going to download it as you can either do JPG, um, PNG, or BMP. I usually do um, PNG. Now, this is an ad that's going to pop up every single time, okay? So you can just close that out, and then your download is going to start. So here's my download, and it's telling me right there that it's for CO2 wood, okay? So then when I go into Lightburn, and I want to import that, it's in my downloads. Here it is right here. I'm going to open that, and now this already knows that it's an image. I'm looking over here on the right. It knows that it's an image file, and it's going to engrave it um, the way that it's already set up to do an image file. So let's see how it turns out. I'm going to choose, I don't need it to be 7 by 8. That's kind of big. So I'm going to do, I'm, I, both of them are selected. The width and height here are selected. And I'm going, um, it's padlocked so that it's changing both the width and the height. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. Um, yeah, let's do, I'm going to do as close to five as I can get it. Well, I can, I can change this to exactly five. And then the height will adjust itself. Okay, 
So we've got, it's like 5 by 5.37, and it's telling me that it's going to take about 11 minutes. So I will come back on and finish this after it's done. I'm not going to do anything else to it here except put um, a square around it. So I'm going to take my square tool over here, and I'm going to put a square around it so it actually cuts it out when it's done. And red is my, my cut setting, and it's going to do that second, and that's okay. And I will be back in 11 minutes.